I'm a bad bitch. Broke nigga can't get in my mix. Tell him send me money. If he don't, then I'ma tell his bitch. I mean to be petty, but I'm on some money shit. And I mean to be petty, but I'm on some money shit. If you can't put me in the bins, don't ask me, can we be friends? Excuse me, say what? Lil' nigga, try again. And don't call me a bitch, the bitch, the one who had ya. I can't argue about no nigga, I already had him. I'm a bad bitch. Broke nigga can't get in my mix. Tell him send me money. If he don't, then I'ma tell his bitch. I mean to be petty, but I'm on some money shit. And I mean to be petty, but I'm on some money shit. If you can't put me in the bins, don't ask me, can we be friends? Excuse me, say what? Lil' nigga, try again. And don't call me a bitch, the bitch, the one who had ya. I can't argue about no nigga, I already had him. Cootie on the beat, I'm a freak. Gave his ass to pussy, now your nigga is my group. All that, all that fake pressure, ho. Who you think you fooling? Fuck a fake friend, I use that time real loose. Ooh, we, ooh, we, you better eat the scoochie. Bust, busting on this fake like a motherfucking Uzi. A broke ass nigga, I cannot respect. My pussy get wet for the right check. Know that I call Glizzy if you disrespect. Screaming free slime, Glizzy, he a fucking threat. Blowing on my phone, telling they pop, that he pussy the bomb. Give him two minutes and he pussy, I bet he gon' calm. I was out your lead, boy, you fucked up. Them two minutes that I gave you got you fucked up. If you got some money and get a check. Yo, yo, yo. What's happening, good people? I think today is fuck with me Tuesdays. I swear. I mean, y'all, it, it's just getting out of control. Okay? But we gonna remedy all that. Hey, Mika. Shalonda on. Let's see. Marcus Brown from D.C. Get in the water. Uh, are you going to homecoming? I'm going to be there. So, re going. And we about to be sharp. And we about to go hard them with these skirts. Woo. Mm. If y'all haven't seen re lately, she has posted some very vulgar pictures online. <laughs> uh, some of them just show the back of her. And her jeans don't have no belt on. Mm. <laughs> Just telling you what I know. Okay. Mm. Um, I got lab in the building though. That's right. That's Ones, right. Ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives. That's what you right. mean? Possibly you ain't. Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. Come on, let's go so we can kick it. <laughs> Marcus better show up. So I'm going to Hampton's homecoming. But the lovely Eureka is going with me. Here's the other kicker. I got Reek in the building. Manager slash producer slash boss. Uh, supervisor. Agent to the stars. Agent to uh, background stars. And models. Okay? It doesn't just stop with the podcast. She runs shit. Okay? She is. I don't know if she the godmother of podcast. But she there. She close to it. So, hey, Chico. Salty with your ass. So, anyway. Right. Y'all be having marital problems. I be having all kind of problems because they be trying to try me. You know what I'm saying? If I say listen to me, don't rush me off the phone because you don't want to hear what I got to say. I don't care about you working. I don't. I just fucking don't. You know. Just fucking don't care about that, okay? If I tell you I need to talk to you, that means I need to talk to you. No, it didn't have nothing to do about us personally. But I'm telling you, you keep trying to try me. Keep trying to make me come outside myself, okay? Y'all going to see us on Jerry Springer. All of y'all just Chico supporters. These Trump supporters, these Chico supporters. All I'm saying is, y'all asked for it, and we did it. Poor Chico. We got the poor Chico shirts on. Mm. Go on. What's our our thing? Go to. Go look. Shalanda talking about some poor Chico. Chico gonna respond. Thanks, Shalanda. Shalanda. <laughs> You supposed to be team sent. I don't get it. You know, these people supposed to be your friends. You know what I'm saying? People you grew up with. You know, people that you meet at Greenbrier Mall. <laughs> this is what they do to you. So anyway, we got 
have poor Chico shirts. We also have static shirts, which I think is so fly, because, you know, it come off my shoulder. <laughs> Niggas like to see a little skin. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So we have those. So if you go to my Facebook page or even Static's Facebook page, uh, you can actually go and shop now. So we are uh, Static, wait a minute, Static Dash Thread dot myshopify.com. And if you go on there now, I know it's a lot, but if you go on, you can go on my page and find a link. Um, both Instagram and Facebook. And maybe Misfits Media Group has that on the page? Not yet. Not working yet. Working. Work in progress. Hey, Aunt Joyce, you're the only one that cares. So I love her so much. I mean, every week she tunes in. She doesn't care how bad I cuss, and she just tells me she loves me so much. Oh, my God. What do you do when you got somebody like that in your life? My daddy don't even watch this show. <sighs> Tell me I'll be watching it in the morning with no sound. I'm like, well, what do you be doing? Tell me CNN be on. Really? <laughs> really? Okay. So, yeah. So, back to Chico. So, yeah. If I call you, I think you need to pick up the phone and answer me. Because we have been through entirely too much for you not to be answering the phone. Okay? Or to tell me. You ain't got time, and I need to hurry it up. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to start hurrying up some other things, too. Okay? <laughs> See how you like that. Because they don't like you to go fast. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Nice and slow. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they don't like for you to. Well, sometimes they do. <laughs> Eureka. Don't leave that long. Eureka. But them old ones, they be like, don't go fast. <laughs> <laughs> them old ones be like, the wait a minute, baby. Now we ain't gonna be here for long. But don't you go fast. It'll be over. It'll be over. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna stop playing. <laughs> oh Lord. So, yeah, don't rush me. So, <laughs> laugh stupid, because he keep me laughing. Me and him be laughing at the same stuff. So, anyway, so Chico got a mad face, keep going up and down on the screen. I don't care nothing. You think of that? Mad? I'm not scared. off you know how i feel about my flip-flops i will beat somebody to the bone with my flip-flop i plays absolutely no games chico right chico we gonna put that on the shirt uh chico went to get a gun one night because we thought we heard something in the house he goes and gets the 40 cal i bent down and got my goddamn flip-flop and told baylor come on okay and Chico mad at me because I got a flip-flop in my hand and Baylor to my side. I got my tribe. I know what I'm doing. My flip-flop don't run out of bullets. It beats the fuck out of you. You ever get a brand new flip-flop from Old Navy that costs $5, not the $1 one, but the $5 flip-flop? That shit will cut your skin. And I'm going to tell you something. Paper cuts hurt too. Okay. So I've seen people take off of work behind a goddamn paper cut. Mm. And that's what I be telling bitches about. We're going to talk about uh, fat, fat girl fall. Eureka, yeah. we going out of hot girl summer into fat girl fall. I so. Everybody graduated about some real eggs this year. Oh. And uh, don't have no run over eggs on. Okay, y'all have to know that Eureka is, um, let's just put it lightly, uh, a label whore. <laughs> and 
Shit, I fuck with a long way. <laughs> Basically, she telling y'all bitches, don't come through here without them, them used Uggs. <laughs> Bitch, come clean. But here's the thing. You know, when I lived in Minnesota, you took your Uggs to the dry cleaners, and they had a, look, she learned some, some, mm. <laughs> There is a, mm, T-shirt online. <laughs> you can go get it. And if you go right now, you can get put in Slick 316 and get 25% off of your entire order. But, yeah, so basically Eureka is like, look, bitch, don't be trying to come over here and talk no shit if you got on some ran over ass Uggs. Bitch, you been kicking sand and everything in these shits. Yeah, we don't have enough salt or snow for y'all Uggs to be messed up. What you say, what you say, and stop folding them. Stop folding them. The ones that they want you to fold, come folded. This is a main topic on the night show. Because, see, and here's another thing. Hot Girl Summer, guess what? They can't wear Uggs. Why? Their whole calf won't fit. So now you looking like a stick in a brick. And you walking around here with some big ass shoes on and your skin ass legs. Ain't no man gonna want that. It ain't it's not attractive. Just not attractive. Ken Stokes just signed on. For all you good uh, podcast listeners, he has a show that comes on, the PK show. Look it up. Uh, so shout out to the PK crew. But uh, yeah. It's a uh, fat girl fall. So y'all gonna have to get this shit together. All right. I got some other topics. I just have a question for my audience. Maybe my dad can answer it tomorrow when he's reading my lips. The PK show shouts you out when they on. They do. And if they don't, we gonna fight. <laughs> so wait a minute. This is the kicker. My question goes out. And hopefully, like I said, my daddy can read my lips. When he see this tomorrow, right. <clears throat> like, how many of you, when are you coming on my show? So, like, have you ever been, like, out and about? Maybe, let's just say, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and you see a blood sibling? Mm. Not your play, oh sister. <laughs> Not your play cousin. Same mama, same daddy. And when you say, hey, that bitch do this. Uh -huh. <laughs> and walks in and acts like she don't fucking see you. Who said what, Eureka? Eureka? Eureka over here dead. I, I don't know. Somebody wrote me and said, who is the bald head man? Something walking around in the <laughs> <laughs> That's loud. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Steve. These are my people. Oh, okay. Yeah, they laugh. But yeah, okay, so I just want to know. Rick over here all the pieces. <laughs> Look, Shalanda keeps saying, mm. I guess my question is, good people, uh, how do you react to something like that? I ended up having to call Chico. And again, he was looking like, why is she calling me? Oh, uh, granted, we be beefing. But not like that. But if I see you out in the street, you can't say nothing. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Hey, we beefing at no, home. This and this, no, streets. look, look. It was fast, quick, and real up lip. Like, uh, uh, uh. There go Eureka taking sides again. But you know what? That's what you do when you're an agent. You make sure you follow your clients. Yeah, I, I just don't know. Oh, I know she do. And I love her. She be right. Let go. Yeah. My whole family like that, though. We love each other. 
And that's the thing. That's the thing I be trying to tell Chico. Not trying to be funny, but none of your family watching, so let's just put it out there. Your family, y'all swear on love, but y'all don't support nothing. But my family, they don't swear on love, but they got your damn back. Ain't nobody going to be sick or, or hungry. I tell you that. Okay? And, yeah, we might ask each other for money and might say no and might come up with a payment plan, but we get you through it. So shout out to all those people that are related to Chico, blood-wise. Uh, for all our play cousins, shout out to y'all for keeping up. Uh, y'all actually come to the Christmas parties and, and different festivities that we have. We try to get Reek and Lab to come to most festivities, even festivities that we have on the weekend. But sometimes they're just too busy. No, because we asked y'all to go to the movies with us the other night on date. And we was going to see Hustlers. We was already busy. Y'all got see? You, you know y'all all y'all gotta let us know them things a day in advance. That's crazy because, because we had to Van Dango. <laughs> well y'all should have Van Dango and said, Hey, we Van Dango and y'all wanna go. That's what we did. Y'all did it when y'all We was y'all like was we bl- about to Van Dango these seats. And you know how Chico is, he gotta get in the middle at the top. <laughs> and y'all, I'm we like, don't know how Chico is. I'm sorry. <laughs> But, you know, he liked to do that anyway with anything. In the middle, at the top. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Just saying what I know. Um, But, yeah, we had tried to ask uh, Rick and Lab to go out with us, and they were bougie about it. So, <laughs> we went to see Hustles. I actually liked it. You know, we... um. Entrepreneurial. Oh no, no. Let me tell you something. <laughs> and you know we be putting together Let couches. Me t- and shit. I need the biggest business owners in the world. <laughs> okay? Do not sleep on these people. These people don't sleep. Exactly. In fact, Reek get mad if you go to sleep. Don't <laughs> let her go to sleep. She got an excuse to go to sleep. But everybody else, we got to work. <laughs> Should we running over here like my name Annie? I'm trying to tell you it's a hard <laughs> not life. So Anyway, I just wanted to kind of see what y'all thought about, you know. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway. I like this shirt. My shirt sharp as hell. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen somebody just walk up and be like, man, that nigga sharp as hell? <laughs> they only do that at certain places. Let's name them, Eureka. <laughs> Charles <laughs> Disco, <laughs> one place. Uh, another place is JR's over there on oh. Fairburn Road. You know, anytime you go to a club where they keep the lights on and the party's still happening, let me tell you something. Dude that owned the spot got up on the microphone one night and cussed everybody out for bringing them little bottles of liquor. <laughs> How y'all just gonna come to my establishment and bring liquor? Y'all supposed to buy it. Y'all don't respect me. Man, that shit had me in tears. Yeah. The old five five nine. <laughs> nickel nickel nine. Let, woo! Honey, let me tell them anybody who used to go to uh nickel nickel nine, check in uh and tell me what it was most famous for. If you do that, I might get your ass a t shirt. If you think it what I'm thinking, tell me. Read my mind. <laughs> Everybody else seem to be doing it because they be trying to try me thinking I'm going to be okay with what you saying to me. I heard the old 11-2 used to be like that. <laughs> Ooh, let me tell you about that. I ain't never been there either. <laughs> well, he ain't been here. He wasn't here for that, but let me just say. He was here for 112. No, I wasn't. He wasn't. Uh-uh. No, he was not. Because I'm going to tell you something about terror. Okay, Boulevard. Eureka, I would put some Betsy Johnson snake skin. Yes, yes. Honey, I would put on that Betsy Johnson snake skin outfit. What you say? Ass Hope. Hope. Check in. Hope. Hope. Me and Hope would go. Yeah. Hope. Check in. Listen. Me and Hope. This is my daddy's talk bad about us, but we were some sharp bitches then. Mm. And. 
Yeah. I was skinny. And I had on a badass outfit with the shoes to match. You know, niggas, when I walk by, they say, oh, you, you walk like it's so good. <laughs> and it's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so me and Hope was out there on the stroll. Now, me and Hope don't quite like the, you know, standing no cold, so we kind of just sat in the car mm. with the heat on till the line went down. <laughs> you know, we them type hoes. So the only time we would get out and really stunt on them like that, like get in and stunt on them, is when Kato girlfriend used to go with us because that bitch could get in the front of the line. And she would be foxed out, okay? Blue flame, he on the blue flame. Oh, okay, I don't know. But look, you need to. Yeah. I'm good. Bands will make you down. <laughs> so look, so when we would go in there with her, she'd be foxed out, Rika. I'm to my silver fox, speaking of. You can go dead sharp up in silver fox. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, wait a minute. Hey, shout out if you can tell me what the hell the Silver Fox is famous for. And if you read my mind on that, I'm going to get you a T-shirt. <laughs> but, yeah, them, them was some good old days there when you'd be like, oh, yeah, he dead sharp. Remember saying that to somebody? Oh, he dead sharp. I don't know what it sounded like, dead, like D-E-P-B-T. Yeah, right. But they were saying dead, D-E-A-D-T. Debt, debt. <laughs> Debt shop. I'm just saying, y'all never pronounce all the syllables and letters in the world. No, it is a dialect lab. <laughs> you just mad because we say Bowen home and he say Bowen. 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 Because I can't help it because I got a block grant and went to college all the way through to Everybody my master's. Everybody want to know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Eureka? He kind of right because he educated. Now, I am too. You never know that shit. <laughs> Well, I'm not talking about that. I guess my whole thing is the school that I went to, they taught us how to say that. Dead sharp. <laughs> you know, I called Mr. Murray. Mr. Murray, check in. Not mine, Eureka. But look, Mr. Uh, Mr. Murray, who is it? Lucky calling you. He probably want to get tuned in. <laughs> he all the way in now. I can tell. <laughs> Lucky, you supposed to be watching the show, not calling in. So what I'm saying to y'all is, uh, yeah, my shirt is fly. And you can get it right now on our website. So check us out and see what's going on. Well, I'm still in the hospital, y'all. Oh, Lord. Been in there for a while now. It's been a year lab. Oh, okay. Y'all still ain't. Uh, yeah, oh, wait a minute. Shalonda said Ellerys. Hey, well, I got to put my book down. Let me tell you something. Hey, shout out to Shane. Oh, shout out to Shane and Lisa Odom. Let me tell you something. And everybody that's done retire from UPS in the old building on Fulton Industrial, shout out to them because they be up in there spending their pensions. Look. You talking about debt sharp? Debt sharp. No, have you ever went for the buffet? Girl, that damn rice and gravy so good. <laughs> Who has that at a club? What you say? I'm talking about they got good corn. Their corn is banging. I don't know. What's <laughs> Lisa, 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 check in. What's that lady name that be in the back? She be hooking us up, and she love Lisa, so we get extra. Mm. But, yeah, shout out to Shane. Shane and them own uh, Ellery. They from, they from the, uh, they from the shop. They from Chicago. Right with the yeah, uh, but not even that. They be in, they be in that ballroom. <laughs> they don't be stepping. They be ballrooming. Ball room. You might grab a bitch by a hair. You got to have real hair to go in the Ellery, baby. Or that thing need to be sewn extra tight from the strain that you get out of Matt's way. Oh, I know you was. You what you have on, Eureka? Uh, a shirt that's hard to nothing with 
Hmm. Oh yeah, you didn't have on nothing with no sequence. Yeah, that's where the fuck nope. Or the fur. I was going to meet my mother. She didn't tell me that they well, stop. Had stop. Hold Val up. What well, I was just about to say. <laughs> what did Val have on? She had on the oh, she cause she knew, but you know what she was trying to do too? Val check in. I bet you were trying to outshine on Reek. I already know. <laughs> she was trying to catch her one. My cousin Shannon was at the bottom talking to some dudes, and she said she was like, she was like, uh, that motherfucker, he's from all of the fuck your cousin's doing, but that shit keeps working. It is. Hey. Because I'm going to tell you something. The men in Ellery's are old school. Yeah. Same, uh, same instances for 20 grand. Yeah. Uh, you go to 20 grand, okay? Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, you're going to meet nothing but gentlemen. <laughs> Just gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> what y'all think about my hair? It's growing. Yeah, but don't this look bald right here? But look at all the baby hair. So my whole head is just full of baby hair. That what that what Chavella said. Okay, so anyway. No. Go to 20 grand on a Friday night, okay? And get that good Johnny Taylor going. That disco lady. Okay? <laughs> They don't. Hmm. But I'm going to tell you, them gentlemen is going to ask you, baby, do you want a shot of cognac? <laughs> and guess what I'm going to say? Hell yeah. <laughs> or they might say, you want some Martell? Mm. That's how you know you sexy. If they coming to you with that heavy brown stuff, you already know what it's in for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. He took, baby, I'm going to miss this with some grandma. Yeah, you want some of this? Mm. Yup. Mina, Mina, how's my baby doing? I've been worried about him all week. Today just Monday. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> Where my head at, y'all? Cause see, people be trying to try me. Okay, Mina, look at my shirt. Okay, so, but yeah, honey, you go up in twenty grand or uh, what's the one on Marcos? Now, the only way you can go to Marco's, oh, thank you, Rocco, is um, you got to have on something leather. What's that one you told me about? Oh, the sand sushi. Yes, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute, no, but I know Rick about the sand sushi, sand sushi. But that's up there with the dirty Sanchez. <laughs> that's somewhere else in my life, okay? But the dirty Sanchez. Tom Tom check in. <laughs> right. <laughs> so these are little uh not necessarily holes in the wall because Johnny Taylor kind of seen that too, and that's probably why that song is so famous. Okay. Hole in the wall. I got a little cousin, she like five. But her granddaddy listened to that and he take her to school every day and she can't get out of the car unless she hear that hole in the wall. <laughs> that shit is so funny. That baby be pointing like this hole in the wall. <laughs> Shout out to Bunchy. <laughs> it's how okay, stop. You said a word that just tripped me out. Yeah. I met Shaw House. Checking on Lou. Shout out to Lou and Shaw. Lou done had his surgery. Praise, Praise Jesus. Jesus. He is yeah. on a walker that has tennis balls at the bottom. Thank you, Lord, for giving him relief. Uh, the only problem that's going on is the dogs keep jumping on him and he keep falling back. Uh, stay off of Lou. Uh, Nala is probably, Nala, Nala is big. And right now, Baylor is anti-Nala. If I could get him a shirt that say, fuck Nala, he would say it. <laughs> but let me tell you how funny Nala is. I love her so much. I, I love her so much. Let me tell you. She is so cute, and just she just thinks she's still the same size as they are, and, she, and she's not. So she goes and she gets in Jack's cage. She's about 12 times the size of Jack's cage, and she's fitting in there so that Jack can't go to sleep. Very, very strategic. But shout out to Lou. But what caused me some issues was I was over there, and I met a young lady, very nice child, okay, but her name was Amazia. And Shar said her name like it was something normal, like Becky or Maria or Stephanie. I said, oh, hey, baby, how you doing? I said, I ain't never met you before. She said, you ain't met Amazia. 
first of all, you know, Shaw got that voice. So when she's saying this, I got to ask her again. Shaw, did you just say Amazia? And the girl looking at me like, yeah, my mama named me Amazia. Like, that's some normal shit. Say your kids. These people ain't going to get no damn job. But then Shaw hit me with, she work at UPS in the new building on Fulton and <laughs> Speaking of which, shout out to Miss Penny. Miss Penny was a lady that took me off off the broad in my cul-de-sac when one of my relatives was about to get locked up. Uh, she said I almost ran into the back of her today, but I was really late coming to the show. So shout out to her. And Miss Penny from Memphis, so she's tall like that. Girl. Girl, I know you weren't finna run me over, girl. <laughs> Who talks like that? Miss Penny. Miss Penny. Yeah. Miss Penny, I ain't trying to be funny. She kind of look like one. Like, she has that copper skin, and she has, like, naturally colored copper hair. She's very, very pretty. So when I look at her, she be looking like a brand new Penny. I be like, go ahead, boo. She be like, girl. Girl, where Chico, girl? I'm like, Chico at work. Girl, Chico, no, he be working. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, working. Psh, tell me I'm at work right now. I can't talk. You need to talk fast. <laughs> that don't piss you off, Eureka. <laughs> yeah, because Reek be like, wait, hold up, stop. Everything stopped at that moment. No, no. Rick be like, I'm not calling you. She don't call. <laughs> you Rika, you don't. <laughs> you Rika. You got to do better. Because when I call her, she just say, fuck it. I'm not answering. <laughs> then I got to get a uh, you strongly denied tick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you call Eureka and she don't answer, it's an automated, uh, automatic, uh, text that says you are strongly denied for talking to slick 316 that's what the shit say on my phone strongly denied strongly disagree trust me yesterday was rough i could have told them they could take these titties back <laughs> they could have good god am i between that and my damn stomach, y'all can take this shit. Like, I can get a refund. Some got to give. Okay. Mm. All right, I'm just going to read a little bit. Okay, boys and girls. Unfortunately, I have about three people on the floor that I can truly count on. Oh, wait, my red deck. Okay. Once I see that every, everyone is getting things under control, I retreat back to my office to try and understand what in the hell is going on. As Miss Daniel sleeps, she looks so peaceful, like she wouldn't even think about hurting anything. In my practice, this situation could be what you want it to be, or it could easily be the calm before the storm. Something just doesn't add up to this situation with Jacinta. I start going through her chart so that I can get some background information. There goes my short Saturday at work. It looks like I'm going to be here for a while. I'm shuffling through what little information I have on Mrs. Daniel, and as I'm skimming through, I hear a soft knock at my door. It is Vontae, and he is going about his regular doom room duties of scanning the arm bracelets. I wave him in. While he is trying to find the bracelet on Miss Daniel, I ask him if he knows anything about her. He goes on to tell me that she's had, she has had better experiences. He tells me about the cancer testing scare and how she even ended up in here in the emergency room to begin with. Vontae and I converse for a few moments more. I tell him that today will be more interesting than the day before. So we get, <clears throat> we better get a better break before this medicine wears off of everyone. I'm still thinking heavily about this woman's circumstances. I am still baffled at how this floor has been quick to come to her defense and how she hasn't been here but all of two days. So up until now, y'all, it's just been two days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Nic <laughs> Nicole and I are 
Shalonda, where you at in the book? Shalonda read the book four or five times a year. Okay. Nicole and I are down in the lobby of the hospital again with the same receptionist that felt like we were duped by her just a day ago. You can tell that she is not in the mood, nor does she know what or how to handle the two of us walking towards her. I try to ease her apprehension, but Nicole is quick to remind her that we are here, that we were here the other day, and that she is not in the mood for doing all of the calling to get this thing straight, so just buzz us up. Without even saying a word to us, the receptionist is already on the phone with security in hopes that they hurry and get us out of her hair. As we wait, y'all see the bomb man going behind me. He just went. <laughs> okay. She decides <laughs> she decides to break the ice by saying that she is proud of the way that I have been handling this situation. The old cheek she knew did not have the same patience or maturity to stand by and just not nut up given the circumstances. Y'all got to know that about my husband. He'll nut up in a second. She is proud that I am growing. She is proud that Jacinta has me in her corner. And she is over the moon that Jacinta has found someone that will walk to the end of the earth for her. She wants to assure me, well, you didn't try to walk to the end of the damn earth today when I called you and you rushed me off the damn phone. So anyway, <laughs> we gonna be off peace. She wants to assure me that Jacinta is getting through this because of me. Part of me wants to believe that. Then, wait a minute believe that and then there is a part of me that is still second guessing how we even got to this point either way i'm ready for the nightmare to end day two <laughs> <It's> so stupid <sighs> what i put up Oh, let's talk about I was going to bring that up, Eureka. Oh, my God. I said she's going to hell, Lord. I am going to hell, but I have Fandango. Hey, Aunt Lo. Um, yeah. So, Chico and I decided to go to Longhorn after a very, very, uh, we had a very busy day. And we went to Longhorn, and I went to the bathroom only to notice that it was a table full of black people. But they were, like, nobody was talking. I thought that was weird. Like, it was a quiet mm -hmm. black table of 20-some people, and ain't nobody saying nothing. So I'm looking at the table like, maybe all of them got their food at the same time. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. They still on drinks. So I'm looking like, ain't nobody talking to nobody. Like, why y'all here? Right. I noticed all of a sudden that they all looking down at the end of the table like this, Rick. Everybody is look. So I'm saying what? The same way. Right. I'm saying well, what they looking at? Right. All of a sudden, I look up, and this motherfucker is signing. Everybody got to look. Oh my god. Okay. So I said, well, maybe <laughs> Eureka's stupid. A little Shalanda talking about sad. So never seen a whole table full of deaf people ever and see god puts me in situations where he know i'm gonna fuck up i think that i know that i think he does this on purpose sometimes just to see if i if there's any hope left in me coming up there but he puts these situations i'm blaming it on him jesus this your fault so why would you let me walk by a table full of deaf black people and i'm not trying to be funny when deaf people are trying to make a statement and they trying to be like, like hollering, the sign get to be, you know, you be damn near fighting, okay? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So everybody is signing, ain't nobody saying nothing. It's quiet as hell. The white people are even looking like, dang, they really do get along great. Fuck me up, Rick. So you know me. Instead of just going to the bathroom, what do I do? I'm standing there looking, trying to see if I can figure out some of the, the words. Um, yeah. Problem happened. Problem when it Sean. Problem happened when 
I looked up, and all of a sudden, I heard a noise. It was a little baby crying, running around, longhorn crying. And I'm saying, why ain't nobody tending to that baby? And then it hit me again. It's about 20 deaf motherfuckers right here. So I'm trying to figure out if the baby know how to be like, you know, mama, ah! <laughs> like, what you got to do to get your mama to pay attention to you? So, again, Chico gets mad because what do I do? I go live. I go live. And I just had, he was mad as hell. I go live, and he didn't know what I was going to go live for. But I went live, and I had to tell y'all because people don't be believing me when I go through situations. Okay? I can't make, I can't make this, oh, my shirt say, um, Daddy. Ain't it cute? Right. Okay, so. Yeah. So, I can't. I don't know why he thought I was going to let that go. Have I ever let go some, something that crazy before? Hell no. I don't know why you thought I was going to let that go. 20 deaf black people at Longhorn and a baby is crying and don't nobody know it? You think I'm going to let that shit go? Hell no. Lay it. Twenty deaf people. Okay, what happened? In Longhorn. Okay. Deaf. Deaf. I didn't know. Okay. However, I stand there and I step, cause the whole table is quiet, and I ain't never seen twenty people quiet. Black. Quiet. So I noticed they all like this, right? How they order? <laughs> Look. Laugh. This was my problem. I didn't even think about that. But maybe they, they pointed. Maybe they oh, pointed. pointed. But then how do you say extra ice? <laughs> you can't even order something special. We not, you I'm, can't say well are done. Questions. Those are things that make you say, hmm. hmm. <laughs> but this is what fucked me up, Lab. Well done. Yeah. yeah. How do you say well done? Or how do you say no fries but macaroni? Look, look, Rika, Rika, no. Rika. They put in their phone. They put in their phone. Or they had one of them little wooden boards. They write it out. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Shots talking about everybody went up. Shot everybody with them. When nobody saying nothing. And that baby went to hollering, and the little baby didn't get hurt. And so a little baby walking around trying to figure out, you know, why ain't nobody paying attention to me? And see, as a child, okay, you know, as a child, you can't you can't understand that your mama can't heal. And she obviously married somebody else who can't heal. And so it's just a bunch of quiet people at a table. So I go live. Okay, and I'm trying to tell y'all because I feel like if I'm going through something, I'm going to let y'all go through it, too, because I'm not going to go through it by myself. Okay, so. Yeah, uh, I go live and, and Chico didn't know what I was going to go live about. So he got mad and I put him on camera. Okay, and I want y'all to see how he be acting because see y'all think he perfect. And he's not. He's not perfect. So he telling me all the stuff I got to do, all the stuff I got to do to get right because I'm going to hell and that shit ain't funny. And da 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 And Sha said I should have went over there and got the baby. You're probably right. Because I'm thinking that baby was either hungry or didn't know how to tell somebody he was hungry because ain't nobody paying attention. Because they didn't know where he was hollering. So I'm trying to tell the baby, do like this. Ah, in front of somebody's face, and then maybe somebody pick your ass up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> like, you got to be able. Uh, Mina taught my baby how to do sign language. So when he was a baby, he could tell us he wanted more to eat. Mm -hmm. But that's the only thing I know right now. This and dancing. That's all I know. I used to be able to do my name. I can't do that no more. Uh, 
tell Reek you going with gasoline draws on. I've been on that. Shaw, you act like this is something new. And see, you be like, you crazy enough to be like, God, what time we going? Y'all are crazy. All right, fat girl fall. Fellas, get ready. Y'all done had these skinny bitches all summer. <laughs> now the thick thighs is about to save lives. Okay, let me tell you something that a, a fall, a, a, a fat bitch fall girl will do for you. Most skinny women don't eat. So them bitches don't never have shit ready. Mm. Let a fat bitch be your bitch this fall. Dinner will be done on time and there will be several different sides. Uh, such as, like, the skinny girl, she'll go to Popeye's and get the chicken only. That wouldn't piss you off. I'm going to want a side, okay? But that's what a fat bitch will do for you. A fat bitch will go to Popeye's and not just get the dinner. The 18 piece, okay? She gonna get the 18 piece with the, that come with two large sizes, but she gonna order two more large sizes, okay? And it's gonna come with six biscuits. And she gonna get you a large lemonade, extra ice. And you gonna be like, what? And then like your, your hot girl, summer bitch, she gonna be like, Oh, I just bought chicken and it's grilled. You gonna feel some kind of way. It's this grilled. Yeah. And you're gonna be hungry. Now, let me tell you something else. Why that why you up here trying to figure out what the fuck y'all gonna eat? This bitch in her closet putting up the shit you done bought her today. Okay? Now you fuck with a fat bitch fall, and that's not your problem. Fat bitch fall is gonna get them Uggs out. You know they got an Ugg confidence. I thought about that for you. She gonna, let me tell you something. She gonna throw a comforter in the dryer. She ain't washed it. She gonna throw a comforter in the dryer. And let me tell you what she gonna do with it. She gonna wrap up. Y'all gonna get on that Netflix. And she gonna wrap up. And instead of popcorn, she gonna slice up some ham. That shit gonna be so goddamn good. I drizzle, I drizzle some syrup on it. That bitch ain't got no honey. Bitch, I drizzle some syrup on it. No, nah, she can't do that because she need that for something else. <laughs> Yo, have y'all ever seen that show uh, with Three Sis Mafia? What was the name of that show? Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. It was a reality show of these fools. Shaw said she getting that uh, comfort. Shaw, check in. Let me know when y'all get paid. Um... <laughs> that uh comfort cold. So look, oh, speaking of which, today is Uncle Phil's birthday. Phil, Phil for real. One happy take. birthday, one take. Happy awesome. Happy, awesome. happy, happy birthday. birthday, Phil. Uh yeah, that call reminded me of Phil. But uh but yeah, uh a fat bitch is gonna do right by you. So y'all make sure y'all y'all do the right thing and, and go fat bitch fall because I'm gonna tell you something. All the dope boys that was when White tees, but they had ball mane on it. Mm. Eureka. Eureka. And, and Heinz in the tack. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid talking about Heinz in the back. <laughs> See, at Static, <laughs> hey, look, <laughs> at Static, we got our own brand. That's right. Our shit is actually in the shirt. Mm. Mm, we called. So I say all of that to say, um, yeah, them ball main shirts with them fresh L, L, is it Air Force One that they were rocking this summer with the all white. Mm-hmm. So all I'm saying is he gonna have on yays on during the summer. Come fall, what you think that fat fool gonna do? He gonna get a fat bitch. Skinny bitch, you was out. You is out. So now it is not your season. Mm-mm. Okay? Because I'm going to tell you something. Ain't nothing harder than walking. See, you can cover up a fat bitch with a fur. As long as her face pretty, you cover her ass up with a fur. So she don't mind going to the mall. 
But most likely when you call her, she gonna be at home. <laughs> she ain't got shit to do. She gonna be right there at home waiting on you and gonna tell you something like she done took her kids to her mama house. Mm. She gonna be ready. <laughs> okay? And that's what I was talking about uh, when I was talking earlier about paper cuts. Uh, some of y'all very skinny men. Y'all like y'all like the big girls, mm. okay? Y'all try to go hot girl summer all year round, only to be creeping with the fat bitch, okay? Yep. Let's keep it 100. I'm fat. Chico is with me because of this, okay? <laughs> Let's get that straight. Let's be clear. <laughs> He's not with me because I'm beautiful or I have a whole head full of baby hair. Or the fact that I got titties on titties on titties. Like, I took some titties off and put some more titties on. Like, I'm that kind of bitch. Okay? Which makes me, I ain't trying to be funny. At this point, my name should be Amazia. And <laughs> I'm just saying, I know the real reason why Chico is with me. Right. Okay? So... Sha, Sha, what's amazing your mama name? If you say everything, I'm gonna have some problems. If if you come back and say everything, fantastica, fantastico, <laughs> or uh, brilliante. Ooh. Look at Lab, Lab, stupid. Uh, Sha, you know he with me because I'm fat. Don't trip. Tell him I'm telling lies on Chico. Everybody know that Chico is with me because of me. Look how pretty I am. Everybody knows this. Mm. Shit ain't no secret. He be buying me extra large shirts. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> he don't be buying me no goddamn baby tees. <laughs> Chico ain't never seen me in no baby tee. From jump. From fucking jump. <laughs> He knew I was a big bitch, and I told him, listen, before we see each other for the first time in a long time, I need to let you know I done gained some weight. You know what his test was? I love curves. There you go. Play a shit. There you go. Give it that pimp. That's that OG, baby. <laughs> and after that, I was turned all the way on. So, I know that he loved me for me, but I know it's that gut and butt that got him. Okay? <laughs> and that's why when I was at old that day, walking to the tent with my chair, dudes was trying to throw wallets at me. <laughs> and I was like, look, what? look, cash out me. Yeah. We can cash out me. No evidence. Yeah, cash out me. You know what I'm saying? Black card it. No evidence. Yeah. Cause see, and I told Chico that. I said, Chico, you don't want me to go to old that day unescorted? I said, them niggas is finna be on me hard, okay? I had a couple people that were potential stalkers, okay? And the next thing I know, Reek was limping to the car. I was trying to get in the car. Lab was trying not to get shot. Reek out there talking about where my West Side Riders at. It was just really messed up. <laughs> but I will tell you this. If you shoot a fat bitch, that bitch gonna live. <laughs> I know this to be a fact. Uh, if you cut a fat bitch... That bitch gonna live. Why? Because you got to cut through some things. Okay? It just don't go straight to the... You cut a skinny bitch. That bitch will bleed to death. You got a fat bitch. That bitch head. might eat on the way to the hospital. Okay? <laughs> Shaw said I should have caught them wallets. You right about that? Because we could have still been on on that right there at the piano bar. So, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to everybody who had the piano bar right now. So... Yeah, I think that y'all should really take into consideration a fat girl that's fall. Because them bitches is taking over. They got the best ass. Eureka. I don't know. My friend ain't been to it, but they seem to be wrong with them. Okay? Yeah. Because they be it do. Why I think. Mm. It do. And I'm going to tell you something. It look different. The camel toe is different. And don't act like you ain't never looked. 
some of y'all on here like oh my god what is she since talking about i can't believe she's on on air live like this talking about camel camel toes prudes here's what i'm gonna say to you you probably the bitch with the knuckles okay <laughs> talking about some goddamn toes <laughs> bitch you with the knuckles and so your shit look like this and so no he's not looking at you and you want to know why because now it look like you got a dick <laughs> so let's just be fucking clear daddy did you read my lips So, yeah. So, the one says hating, laugh. It's because they got knuckles. They got knuckles. Yeah, fuck yeah. Camel mm. knuckles. You ever seen a knuckle of a fucking camel? <laughs> that motherfucker done been through a road. Okay, <laughs> they walk through the sands, Eureka, with no water for, for miles. Mm. With people on their back that's been smelling like onions and, and oh, peppers. You yeah, know. I don't know. They don't believe in deodorant out there in the wild. Oh, and <laughs> Okay. Now, I will say this. Fat girls, let's get ready. It's our season. And when it's our season, what do I promote best? Tuss it. <laughs> Y'all bitches got to get it together because in them crevices right up in here. And my favorite crevice is the one right here. From the elbow. Uh, my cousin Candy call it bat wings. Because some of y'all done went and got them damn uh, sleeves put on and trying to go, little fat girl, fall. Let me tell you something. Be proud of your 700 pounds. I've seen one, and yeah, she about that way. But she got a man. You know what? That bitch got a man. Let me tell you something. Eureka, Eureka, guess what? Call Val. Uh, we be looking at a 600, uh, my 600-pound life thing, and every last bitch on there got a man that is fucking faithful. They do everything. What did the knuckle look get? When did the knuckle look get cute? Well, it hasn't. Uh, them is for <laughs> u- ugly bitches. Typically, when you have a knuckle, your shit ain't sharp. Nobody ain't wants sharp. to have. Nobody wants to be. Why to would you want to go into a knuckle? That's like <laughs> a fight. Why would you want to put your dick in a fight? Two pieces of bone. What the fuck does that? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been in the inside of your toe with your finger? <laughs> Not the same. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about it. And if, and, and if I, how, how much y'all want to bet about 30 of y'all just did it? <laughs> yeah. so, let me see what that feel like. <laughs> I'm going to start being decent. But yeah, I know half of y'all just did it. And some of y'all came out and was like, oh. That's that enough. Like. <laughs> okay. 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 Now, I ain't going to lie. A fat bitch with some very large bunions, be well. Because see, at night when she go to sleep, she start kickboxing and shit. And she'll knock your motherfucking head out. But that bitch will make up for it in the morning with pancakes. And eggs and bacon. And yes, it'd be several sides. And she'll sit on the goddamn watermelon to get some juice. I'm trying to tell you, she's she's fucking winner. Okay? This bitch is a winner. Yeah. She a winner. So, yeah, y'all got to get ready for the fat girl fall. Uh, wrap up. Y'all should have been doing it. Because, see, most of y'all got babies by a fat girl. Don't trip. I've been seeing nothing but fat women in Walmart lately. Okay? Well, not lately. All the time. And all of them got like six kids. And they try to say that's they baby fat. Uh uh-uh, uh. You fat for that baby like got here. 27. Huh? But they kids be like 27. And they be like 27. <laughs> so it's like a nine month difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to hell. Uh, but yeah, I, I've been knowing I was going to hell. Uh, it's nothing new. Next week, we'll talk about it more.
next week we'll talk about it more. In fact, read right now. Next week's topic is uh, how I know I'm going to hell. <laughs> Put that down, okay? Because these people don't understand me. Uh, Dion, what you mean we don't? We don't what? Help me understand. What don't we do? But yeah, uh, yeah, y'all get with the fat bitches this fall. It, it's gonna make a difference. Now, come hot girl summer again. Don't, don't try to play it off like you ain't been up in no fat girl all all winter. He's gonna say bitches that is oh, trust and believe, baby. Come April fifteenth, he gonna but see a fat girl with a tax return. She gets her shit in December mm. before the January thirty first uh, uh income report and come in. Okay, she know she got about twelve tax cuts. Okay, and she know that her refund should be around and about sixty five hundred. And yes, everybody is getting new shoes. And what else we gonna get, Rico? Uh, I don't know. No, you know, You think they should be buying Breeze cards? They sell Uber gift cards. You can't put a fat bitch in an Uber. They got Uber black. You cannot. They got the Uber black. I've been in an Uber black, and this shit is tight. (laughs) Okay. Uh, shout out to my elite crew. Everybody skinny, but me. I'm trying to tell you. You put elite in a Uber black. All them bitches can fit. Mm. I got to sit up front. And they be trying to play it off. And then I'll fuck around and go to sleep in the goddamn Uber for a 10-minute ride. You have no idea. Best power nap ever. Whew. He have on that heated seat. See, them bitches in the back don't have that on. Nah. I be knocked the hell out. Poor Eureka. Eureka probably over there looking for my medicine. Eureka Rika has, oh, I want to talk about this. What do y'all think about big girls in lingerie? Mm. Lingerie. Yeah, uh, I was recently uh, given some lingerie. I just want to be proud to see how you feel. Listen, and I asked Chico, I said, Chico, what you think about lingerie? And this was the first conversation, this is the realest conversation we have ever had in our life. Mm-hmm. You know what he said to me? Yeah. It's nice to look at. I don't own one motherfucking thing of lingerie. But my good friend, who cares about me deeply, gave me a set that I'm scared to try on because I'm scared I'm going to break that string. No. And you ain't lying. Rika, you think that string going to stay on? I do. Huh. I do. And so I ain't showed it to him because I want to show it to him. Okay. No, I put him on his little, his little thing on his side of the uh, sink, and I said, "Love Rika," <laughs> and he just wears them every day. He just, he just, oh, he just loves his socks. I don't know. It may be. Did you? Well, you ain't trying to play this. That sock game can't Well, y'all heard that. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Dion said we don't like that knuckle or you like that knuckle. Check in. Dion. Uh what? And you know what that thing was? Chico <laughs> told me that skinny girls keep it going this long. And friend said that's a lie. That's a lie. Friend, check in. That's a lie. <laughs> well, how long they go? Is it like throwing a hot dog down the highway? Nah, that that whole hot uh, the walls girls, fall. Coo- coochie deep. That's a lie. Huh. I didn't hit the, the wall. Dion the said, just door. be naked. It doesn't help the situation. See, that's how I thought. That's why I didn't see the point. Because once I put it on, uh, it's coming off. All right. Well, it's know. just a. It's just a and then you're going to get that torn ass string. It's just the enticement. Is that what it is? It's the enticement. Do you think. Okay, so then. But see, I'm a regular nigga. I'm enticed by t shirts. See, that's me. <laughs> T shirts and my panties on. Rawls. Yes. Well, 
and she has leather she has leather pajamas. <laughs> she has leather pajamas. I'm a pajamas is leather. I seen it. Oh, but I seen it. And all that ass. That's all he was looking at. Oh, Eureka. Ugh. Big booty Judy. Yeah. A uh, ass that big. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's the thing. I guess it's not that I don't like lingerie or I don't I wouldn't like wearing it. I guess my thing is, but these draws is five for twenty five. When I'm in Victoria's Secret, I be saying, but they go to sale right here. I'm not paying five dollars, fifty nine dollars for some shit I can put on at home. Some napkins taped to my tits, and <laughs> you know, because that's what the fuck that is. And I'm not paying for that for fifty nine dollars. I will go cut up some shit and put it on me and be like, here you go. That way. Plus, I don't even, like I said, I'd be scared of the string. It's going to get lost or it's going to break. But see, Chico might break the string because I would. Because that's how good I look. Even with the surgery. Boy, I'm a pretty motherfucker. I mean, whoo. Sometimes I look in the mirror myself and about damn near pass out. Look how pretty I am. Golly, my self-confidence. How I be looking like, woo! Mm. That's one sexy bitch there. Even Bay look at me like, I wish you were my mom. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Poor Reek. Reek done. Mm. Yeah, Reek it done. So anyway, uh, it's Fat Girl Fall Tuesdays. Uh, we done had a great one again. Uh, am I allowed to talk about my new business venture? Yeah. All right, black people. White people, too, if y'all tuned in. <laughs> Sometimes I be forgetting. Uh, Chinese people, shout out. Because okay. y'all like my stuff. Y'all be sending me little stuff. And, and the Arabs, they like me, too. Shout out to the Patel family. You know, hoteling. Um... So, um, I have a new business. Actually, it's going to benefit y'all for a minute. Now, as much as people think I'm crazy as hell, I actually do care. So, when your credit be fucked, see, this is the biggest issue I have. People come to me on a regular, and they'll say, well, just since we want to buy a house, but our credit fucked up. They'll say it just like that. My credit fucked up. Or they'll say, well, if we get this loan, we're going to only get approved for 140000 and that's going to have us in the fucking hood. So we're just going to keep renting until we can get approved for 240000 so we can get into the neighborhood we want to be in. Yeah. Well, guess what? I have bought into a credit repair franchise. This is going to blow your mind. I'm going to educate y'all. Now, Poochie, come on Thursday. Sure. So he going to tell y'all every Thursday how to live every day. I'm going to tell you how to get your, your credit fixed. When I bought into this, <laughs> the nice lady that, that helped me with it, she said, well, it's credit restoration. I said, well, well, I stay, we getting our credit fixed. <laughs> so literally, it is... <laughs> Financial Education Services. So that stands for FES. And so basically what we do, hit me up, inbox me, do whatever, email me, whatever. Call me, 757-343-2575, and I will fix your credit. So basically what happens is we have a corporate company that we, it's kind of like owner-operator type deal with like Chick-fil-A. So what we do is we help people get their credit repaired. And basically, I didn't know this until I signed up. What happened? Why your face look like that? Okay. So, you have you have to give a creditor permission to put something on your credit report. I'm going to repeat that. You have to give a creditor permission to put something on your credit report. I didn't know that. 
So all your tax liens, your regular liens, your BKs, your repos, your late payments, all that stuff. Did you give them permission to put that on your tax? I mean, on your credit report? No. And guess what? The credit bureaus are privately owned. So they get to put whatever they want to put on there. It's not like it's regulated. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't even think from that type of financial knowledge. I say all of that to say we can have those things removed. So there is a corporate office. It's out of Farmington, um, Michigan. Look it up. Um, they have over 40,000 agents. So don't limit yourself and think the only people I can help is in Atlanta because that's not true. I can help everybody. So except if your passport ain't right. I'm just job. I can fix that too. So basically here's the deal. For $89, you start off and we get you started into your credit repair program. Most people get things done immediately and it gets taken off of their credit report like right then and there. Uh, a lot of creditors are not going to argue about no $5,000. Believe it or not, as much as that seems like a lot of money to me, that is not a lot of money to them. So they won't even argue with that. They'll just let that go. And it'll be a write-off for their company, and that's what they do anyway. So, and you probably already paid them what you really owe them. They just being greedy. So all them alimony, child support, all that stuff that's been on there, call me because I can get that off. Um, and so that way you can start getting better interest rates and things of that nature because we tend to buy a car and have 24, 25% interest rate on it. And your car note be something stupid. Let me tell you something. That bitch will be $35,000 for the rest of your damn life. And it's only worth two fifty. dollars okay. So I'm just telling y'all what I know. So here's the thing. You start, I let's just say I sign you up. Get your credit straight. You first... It really takes total six to eight months. So every month for $89, you get credit repair, credit monitoring, fraud monitoring. Um, but my favorite one is the rent. So too many times I see everybody who pays rent, whether you pay it late or most of y'all don't get evicted. Let's just keep it 100. Y'all got a place to stay. But what they don't do is report your rent history. They will report your payment history on a mortgage. They won't report your payment history on a rental property. Why? Because that's income for somebody else that they don't want to report. Let's keep it 100. So what we do is we get a copy of your rental history, and we post that to your account, to your credit report. So now you get between 60 and 100 points added after they do this. Because most of y'all are paying rent every month. It might be late, but y'all done paid it. So I think that's brilliant. A lot of people don't even, you know what I'm saying, think about that. They only, but again, mortgage companies, they have to write things off. Rentals, they be trying to hide their income. Just keeping it 100. So that's one thing. They'll leave it on there forever. Right, the seven years. Oh, yeah, seven years don't mean nothing. The Bible came up with seven years. Let's be, let's be clear. Pass the check-in. Allie, Allie, check in. Seven years in the Bible, right? That's the only friend I know that read it. Um, You read the Bible later. I've read it. The whole thing. Forwards and backwards. I have not, but I've read the Quran. Uh, inshallah. Um, so, no. So, I say all of that to say, get your credit straight. And if you refer people, which we do, let's just say if I get lab credit straight. And lab say, okay, Reed, you know what? Just since hook me up on the, um, on the credit thing, lab gets $50. Who not turning that down? Right. Let's just say you want to take it a step further. They have life insurance. They have medical insurance. They have uh, secured credit card services. So while you are getting your credit fixed, you can actually get 
an extended line of credit, which I think is awesome. Um, so all of that good stuff. The other thing is you can also work for me and dig this as an agent. You can actually get a commission for bringing in people to help them fix their credit. So they have actual analysts and paralegals and lawyers that work at the corporate office. And once they get your stuff, you get a portal. You get to check it in whenever you want to. They give you updates on a regular. They tell you what your new score is. They do the monitoring, the whole shebang. So even after your credit is fixed, they will continue to monitor your credit for you. So I think you should highly consider it. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm helping a lot of people. And then I'm helping people kind of, I mean, like, I got this one lady. She actually, she actually called me today. She was like, look, I just need 40 more points. And I was like, because she's trying to get her mortgage, but she has a late payment from paying on her car. So they counting that against her to just close her loan. So, huh? I don't know. But here's the thing. I don't have to know. You can have a BK. They will remove this shit. If... And like I said, it takes time. But sometimes it's just revolving something, one little thing. And if that's all you got to do for $89 to get your house, people going to do that. I'm just, I just think that that's best. You can do credit karma all day. Credit karma ain't never fixed nobody credit. You can do, uh, what's the other one? None of that stuff fix your credit. The only thing it does is tell you what your credit look like right now. And them be lies. Okay? Tell Experian to go to hell. Tell TransUnion to go to hell. Huh? Yeah, they use, they, we'll see the credit, it's three of them. TransUnion, Experience, and Equifax. So at the end of the day, they making money off of this. Y'all go in and pay somebody to look at your credit. Your credit. So they got your shit on file, and you don't have everyday access to it for free, and it's your shit. Think about that for a minute, y'all. I really want y'all to consider what I'm talking about because at the end of the day, we are going to have to start taking control of our finances so that we can stop living check the damn check. If you don't, you're going to be left the fuck out, and I'm going to tell you something else. My agents get paid every Thursday. Can't nothing beat that. I'm going to post all the information on how you can get to me on all of my different pages. Westside Misfits will have it on. Not Westside. Misfits Media Group will have it on. Yeah, they'll put it on there so y'all can get some help. And I'm sure I'm going to tell Poochie about it. Maybe Poochie will let me come on and, and talk about it so that we can get some people. We can get some people straight. I got people who are getting like 700, 800 credit scores out there. I mean, they had a 430. Mm. I've seen some amazing things. And the company actually, guess what their company car is, y'all? Shut up. This lady that I got in the franchise with, she actually, she has 4,000. She has literally helped 4,000 people restore their credit. This bitch got a G-Wagon from Mercedes-Benz. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's that truck truck. That's that truck truck. That ain't a GLE. Mm-mm, mm-mm, that ain't what that is. It's the G-Wagon. It kind of look like, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, to me, it look like the Russian. It's the real. Yeah, it's a truck. It's a fucking truck. So, but yeah, that bitch got it for free. And on top of that, I said, well, how much are you making? Because she's, she's actually one of my clients. And she buys our um, our off market properties at Daniel. That's another thing we still have those. So for y'all that want to flip, y'all need this. Okay, this is this is what I'm saying to you. This is what she does. She helps people get their credit straight, and she helps them get homes. So at the end of the day, she partners with different real estate firms and agencies and whatnot. And she makes sure that y'all get a place to stay. I don't know many black people that do that. But in that process, she has made money. And I say all of that to say, 
<laughs> her <laughs> her credit, her proof of funds, bank statement. When I go out and I show a house to somebody, I have to have a proof of funds. I have to say my buyer has enough money to purchase this home, so therefore we can see it. Right. She came to me with $5 million. Bitch, what you do for a living? And you black? <laughs> this all yours and you not married? This you? And I said, well, what do you do? I said, what do you do? She was like, I just help people with their credit. I said, do what? My whole, every time I come on here, y'all, I always tell y'all, contact Daniel Property and Assets. Let's get y'all building wealth. Let's get y'all out of uh, renting houses. Let's start flipping them. Let's start doing this. And here is an opportunity where I felt like I could actually help y'all do some things. I could get some things out of your way. And so sometimes that's all the hell y'all need is to just get out your own way. I mean, does that make sense, Eureka? I did. So just get out your own way. I mean, a lot of y'all just don't, uh, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. You know, y'all be having on the yays. Woo, let me tell you something. I ain't never done nothing small. The only thing small on me is my last name. Here go, Reek. Let me tell you something. Everybody don't have that wrinkle. What's up, Ma? Lido Deck. Install the TV in your bathroom. Level. Okay, let me say this. I tell this to my nephew all the time. You be in the hood trying to be in the hood, but these people, I did wish Phil a happy birthday, Chico. Did you? Salty. I'm still salty. Hurry up. I need to. I, I, I just since I'm at work. Okay. So, anyway, but no, I mean. I've seen people just be in the hood thinking that, that that shit cool. That shit ain't cool. I mean, being in the hood and having a cultural hood, that's one thing. But just wanting to be living in that motherfucker? Hell no. I need to be able to have a car that I don't have to pay $1,000 for. I need to have a car that I can make a, a, a insurance payment, and they're literally basing my rate off of my credit and not my speeding tickets. I need to be able to walk into a store and say, I want everything in this motherfucker if I need it. Okay. And that card go through. I know some people that don't have limits, okay? I know some people that have metal credit cards. You heard me? Okay. They have no limits, okay? Walk into the store, one of them things, and see how them damn people turn around and start waiting on you. Be different. So, yeah, people, I just want y'all to be easy. You know what I'm saying? So get out your own way. Hit me up. Again, you can call me, 757-343-2575. And check out my Facebook. Um, We're going to get y'all some money because this, this is getting out of hand. Y'all just look broke now. That's probably why I did everything. So, anyway, it's been another Fat Girl Tuesday. Check out that static. Make sure you go on and get your shirts. They coming out. The hoodies is out. Go on and get you one. Just in time for the fat, Just in time for the fat girl fall. You can get your fat bitch a slouch shirt <laughs> and a hoodie. Okay. Yeah, y'all be easy this week. Love y'all. I'm a bad bitch. Broke nigga can't get in my meat. Tell him send me money. If he don't, then I'm going to tell his bitch. I mean to be petty, but I'm on some money shit. And I mean to be petty, but I'm on some money shit. If you can't with me in the bins, don't ask me, can we be friends? Excuse me, say what? Little nigga, try again. And don't call me a bitch, the bitch, the one who had you. I can't argue about no nigga, I already had him. I'm a bad bitch. Broke nigga can't get in my meat. Tell him send me money. If he don't, then I'm going to tell his bitch. I mean to be petty, but I'm on some money shit. And I mean to be petty, but I'm on some money shit. If you can't with me in the bins, don't ask me, can we be friends? Excuse me, say what? Little nigga, try again. And don't call me a bitch, the bitch, the one who had you. I can't argue about no nigga, I already had
before. No. Nope. <laughs>